What a mess that is there. Fox News alert now. The Biden team now weighing whether or not to send 1,500 active duty U.S. troops to the southern border this just ahead of the lifting of Title 42, nine days from now. This according to senior U.S. officials speaking with Fox News. Team coverage in a moment. Geraldo Rivera's on deck with analysis. But first, Griff Jenkins live in Brownsville, Texas. Again today for the news. Griff, hello. Hey, Bill, good morning. And that development is yeah. very significant. It's all hands on deck here at the border. But it's worth pointing out that what's under consideration at the Pentagon as broken, that news broken by our colleague Jennifer Griffin, is that these active duty troops, 1,500 or so, would be under a transport or administrative non-law enforcement role. That would be different than how Governor Texas, Governor Greg Abbott, is using the Texas National Guard and Air Guard under Operation Lone Star. Those National Guard troops are actually on the border. These troops under this active duty plan from the Pentagon would be administrative or transport only to free up Border Patrol agents. Meanwhile, we heard yesterday from the podium at the White House, spokeswoman Corinne Jean-Pierre saying that illegal immigration is down 90 percent. Let me go to our drone in the sky right now and show you the images that completely contrast that. Nothing could be further from the truth that they are down 90 you can see the line of migrants here, a majority of them Venezuelan. We have had them coming here in this sector alone in the last 24 hours, more than 2,800 migrants. That is why local officials and former Congresswoman Myra Flores is so frustrated with Secretary Mayorkas. Take a listen here. Secretary Mayorkas claims that we need legislative fix, which we do, but the main problem here right now in Bronzeville is that he's not willing to enforce the laws that we already have in the books. We have laws. Why is he not enforcing them? He needs to be held accountable. And just to be clear, I'm not sure what the definition is now at the White House on illegal immigration, but all of those migrants you're seeing on the drone cross between a port of entry, and they are here illegally right now, and we'll see mm -hmm. what happens as this plan develops as we get closer to that Title 42 lifting on May 11th. Bill, thank you, Griff. Back to you. Follow the bouncing ball for us. Thank you, Griff Jenkins on the border. Dana. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.